Hey everyone, welcome back to Fire Force. We're gonna be reacting to season. Hey everyone, welcome back to Fire Force. Gonna be reacting to season two, episode twenty-three, Fire Cat. All I know is this is gonna be a Tamaki focused epi episode. Um, I kind of been waiting for this because I've been saying it before in my reactions. I don't really care about the fan service because it's not like I know sometimes it's a bit too much, but it's more so just like this stupid plot thing that's like Lucky Letcher, whatever the fuck it is. So I don't I don't really mind it too much. It's not really something that's crazy to me. Um, but my main issue with Tamaki wasn't the fan service, was the fact that she barely does anything. Like, literally, every time she fights, aside from the guy from season one in the nether, where he, you know, grabbed her boob on accident and, like, he died, and he had his comeback, uh, his run back in the season with a funny episode. Um, literally, there's nothing, like, she, she can tank fire really well, which is great, but every time she tries to go on the offense, she just gets bodied, dude. Like, badly, or, like, just, oh, my God. It, it's kind of, it's, like, especially with Juggernaut, like, he he went all out. And then she barely was able to do anything at all. So, it was really frustrating to see. But, so far, we got character development for Iris, uh, Shinra a little bit, Arthur, um, Hinoa with the recent Maki arc, Maki. Uh, Obi, we haven't got much, but I think Obi and Shinra were really established well in the first season. But I think we're finally getting to Tamaki. So, all that being said, it's pretty low the video of the audio of copyright strikes, and let's get into it. Let's be honest, this is probably the best aspect of Fire Force. No, I'm joking. The Fire Force is great, but Conro and fucking Benny, oh, Joker, they're, they're, I think by far, I think, I think everyone, a lot of people can agree, they're the, the, the top three favorite, like, things so far, aside from the waifus, because Hibana. Bro, Shidra is fumbling. This relationship reminds me, you know what? Holy shit, that just brain blasted me. Hibana and Shinra are very, 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 very similar. Uh, obviously, with much more modern lingo, but they're very similar to uh, Boa, Hancock, and Luffy from One Piece. Because Hibana is like that very domineering, like, boss-ass type bitch. And, you know big old you know things and you know really pretty and whatever and she's just like infatuated with shinra but shinra's just like huh what's going on even though he'd be blushing at iris and stuff like right there bro but whatever but yeah uh that just i just that, that just linked to me it looked like i got an adult link from okay Is this man, like, just, like, living out of a side fantasy on the side on his personal time? I think that's what that is. Wait, was was that a real seven like evangelist member? O okay, okay, okay. What? Okay, never mind. I was dumb. I was wrong. That was an actual white clad that just got fucking Shishi Sun Sun. Oh, okay, just got one shotted. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, that's how we got the scar on his nose. Whoa. Wait, Crimson Moon. Holy shit. 
yo, that was dope. That little interaction. What was his power like? It looked, it looked like his powers was like similar to Shinra. I don't remember they went over in season one, but it reminds me a lot of Shinra's like boost. But instead of with feet, it was like on his back. And I don't know, man. That look that. I mean, he literally did a final explosion, like straight up. Oh, the dude is gone. I don't say he just buried the body, but the evangelist is gone. Bro, can we just can we just can we just take it in for example for right now that Hibana is literally there, one for you know two things, two to literally explain everything to Shinra, like <laughs> this like literally it everything that everyone's been saying so far this episode, Shinra's just like I don't know what that mean. <laughs> okay. Okay, Tamaki's taking it upon herself to train. Okay, nice. I like that. I like that. I like that she's showing some initiative to, like, better herself. I respect that. That's real cool. Bro, why is this man meditating so cool, bro? Like, huh? Is, is it safe to say that I'm a Benimaru stan? Obviously, it is, right? Bro, it's so crazy that Hajiki just... Oh shit, now they're getting serious. Man, I feel bad for Tamaki, man. Excuse me? Whoa, is she like, is she gonna like be full cat? Like in flame? That's awesome. Yo, she's gonna be fast. Holy shit, her reef. Okay, if she gets all the properties of cat, I mean, I know it's more so just like a fire thing, but she moves like a cat. So, I mean, she even gasps or like, you know, gets surprised like a cat. But uh, I wanna talk about her backstory real quick. So far, I mean, we're getting more of it still, but I just wanna address like the whole, like, she was obviously a victim of just everyone wanting her to do something or basically she, she was just going with the flow with the crowd, right? Whatever the crowd did, she did, you know, whatever they wanted her to do, she did it. You know what I mean? Um, it's a really, that's a messed up situation. Cause like that happens to a lot of people in real life. Like uh, we want to get along with people, be popular, whatever. And you know, ever since everyone's doing the popular thing, might as well keep doing it. Right. So I really like that. Not really like, but I like that aspect of her character, and like she was a victim of Rekka. Um, but I like that she's we're finally, even though it's what forty plus episodes now, we're we're getting it now. We're getting it. We're getting her character development, and I'm I'm here to see it. I will say I don't know how I feel about her having a lecher thing when she's like. Middle school, it looks like she looked she's only like 17 18 right now. Oh, Tamaki! Wow, this hell of spit just came out. My... Yo, she looked like she got that hollow. Oh, okay, yo, she moving like Naruto when he had the fucking nine tail cloak. Like fucking like okay. Speaking of QB, they look like the little like little QBs. <laughs> How did that even happen? Oh shit. Well, 
What the fuck are these? The, I mean, they're basically the one... The fucking the Wonder Twins. Okay, she's just Naruto! She's just Naruto! Of course, her ass is showing. <laughs> no one asked you to peel that much away. <laughs> I love like his reaction. He, he's just like, bro, what the fuck is happening with you? <laughs> like, okay. Also, yeah, these two are just burning. What's happening with these two? <laughs> Why is he just burning them? Why? <laughs> Why is he just burning them, dude? Okay. I think next week, I don't know if next week's the season finale or, or if it's the week after that, but whatever. It is what it is. Again, very, I think, very much needed episode. Again, I don't know how I feel about the Letcher thing being a thing from, like, literally, when even when she was, like, in, like, nunnery school and shit. It's a little weird, but whatever. But aside from that, I like that we saw the negative aspects of it, like, really B-wordy like teens and shit being mean to her because of like that actual like whatever luck that she has like you know actual negative repercussions on her mindset because we usually seen her go like haha I grab her ass we're like whatever i'm naked now but like we never seen her actual mindset but now we saw it like she's like when shinra asked her to eat with, with him like she's just like no like i'm just you're just gonna be annoyed by me blah 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 like i'm just gonna sit in the corner so that shit doesn't happen um but yeah it, it it's obvious so it, it was all a mental it was all mental tape she finally broke through her own mental barrier that she created i, I mean she literally turned this into her so she fucking went fucking nine tail fox mode and just fucking did a rasenga bro she pulled out the red rasengan and everything dude that shit was fire no pun intended but great great tamaki stuff finally some character development for her so everyone give it up for for tamaki you give her a round of applause and uh yeah benny is always great so while well, that be said hope you guys enjoy it. Share the like comment subscribe for me, share that if you enjoyed it. i'll see you all the next one. Bye, guys.